So the last thing to do is move this tap out away from the wall so that I can put the insulation behind it. Now there's a bit of a problem that it's recessed here. So I can't get anything behind it to hold onto the pipe and then screw off the tap. I've been trying to screw it like this and I'm a bit worried I'll break the pipe. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna let it heat up in the sun, maybe put a candle under it, heat it up a bit more and hopefully soften the seal where the thread is and then try and turn it off. And if I can't do that, then I'll cut out some of the bricks here and be able to get a wrench behind it to hold onto that pipe and then be able to screw off the tap without damaging the pipe. Okay, the sun's been on this for quite a while now. It's nearly midday. I've sprayed loads of WD-40 into it. It's still not turning. So I'm gonna light this candle. Use that to heat it up for a bit and then see if it'll turn. Okay, that's been going for a few minutes now and the tap's pretty hot. I'm gonna try turning it with this. No, that's just not working. Okay, I've looked at lots of YouTube videos about this. I could take out all of these bricks, but I think the easiest thing is just to chip away at this bit here, see how far I can get into it. And if I can get into it far enough, be able to undo it, then that'll be the easiest way. And the easiest way to do that is just with the masonry drill and start drilling holes and chipping away at it. There he goes. It's really easy to drill away at the bricks with that masonry drill. And now I've got in, I can see there's a nut here, which I think is about 22 millimeters. I need a spanner that can hold that. And then I twist this nut here with another spanner and it'll get the tap off. Okay, so I've dug out around it. I've got my new spanner to get into the nut behind. I've had the candle going for quite a while. The water's turned off. Now I'm going to try and turn it and get it off. Amazing, it's turned. <laughs> wow. So I've just bought all this apart from the tap from my local plumbing store for six pounds and 65 pence. This is where it'll start on the bare copper pipe. And there's already one of these on it, one of these olives and a nut on it, but that's too far back. So I'm gonna put this on closer to the end of the pipe and then just start threading these on. And ultimately it'll be 90 millimeters away from the wall. So I just have to put the tape around these and start putting them together. All right, that's all on. Now it seems like it's just a matter of screwing them all together. All right, now just put this onto the copper pipe outside. So there's the old olive in there and the old nut. I'm just gonna put these ones further out on it. To my new spanner. Hopefully that's all nice and watertight. I'll turn the water on and see. Well, the water's on now. 
and that is amazing. So that's it, it's all done. And the total cost of extending that tap was just £10.61. And, and it really wasn't too difficult to move that tap out. I've never done any plumbing before, but it really wasn't too difficult to remove that sewage pipe either. And certainly to remove drain pipes, move them out, to take electrical fittings off, to remove vent covers. It's not that difficult. So my conclusion is that with this house, certainly it's possible to do everything yourself to prepare it for external installation. And it probably is with most houses as well. And only the last thing I have to do is take off that box for the burglar alarm and then we'll be ready, but I'll take that off as I'm putting up the insulation. And now the next stage, of course, is to put that external insulation on. I'll make a video about that and hopefully that's helpful as well.